I compared Confunction's Love Train to Silk Sonics. And I came out my grill and said that Silk Sonics was better. And woo! I started some controversy. And I'm not one to do that. I try to stay middle of the road and you know, keep things you know up-tempo, upbeat, fresh, positive. But apparently I got into some folks' feelings yesterday because I compared Confunction's Love Train to Silk Sonics. And I came out my grill and said that Silk Sonics was better. And woo, people got, not I won't say angry, but they looked at me, they had the over the glasses look, you know, like, who raised you, boy? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that You know that look? That's the one I got. I got text on this, not just during the show, on, on the app. I got text last night about it from people saying, yeah, you know Confunction is better. You know that. You raise better than that. <laughs> so my Twitter poll, it was feeble, but it, it got it got the message. The Twitter poll that I put up said Confunction was better. What you said yesterday is that Confunction was better. I just, they're different. I had this discussion last night. They're just different. Silk Sonics is more over the top, whereas Confunctions is, is you know, right there in the pocket. That's why I like people, people like that one more usually. So there you go. I put it out there. I'm not I'm not trying to fight anybody. We ain't, we ain't gonna fight over that. We just love both songs, that's all right. And if you play Confunctions more than you play Subsonics, you ain't gonna hear any hate from me. It's all good. If they, either one comes on, I'm good. But woo, people got any feelings about that one. <laughs> May I share something? I got some Rihanna draws. I do, yes. She evil too, she evil. Miss Alice and I have a, have a love-hate relationship with Rihanna. With all this Savage and Fenty stuff going on. Mm-hmm. And now, did you hear this week that they're now doing Savage Fenty sportswear? Uh-huh. They're doing the leggings and the, and the sports bras and the, and the jumpsuits and everything for, for the ladies. And I'm going to assume that they're going to do athleisure for dudes, too. For men's. T-shirts, sweats. I hate her. I hate her. I'm not spending any more money with you. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Next year, I mean, Rihanna's gonna make bank in 2023. Why? Because more than likely she's gonna have an album coming out. She's doing the Super Bowl halftime show. Most likely she's got a tour coming up too. And now she's got Savage and Fenty Athleisure. Boy, so people quit complaining about Rihanna not putting out any music. She got hers, she getting hers. You get your music when you get it, all right? She's fleecing us in other ways. That wore you out, didn't it? It wore me out. I got three points. Three points to make about Love Machine. Here right now. Let's go ahead and tackle them all, since it's fresh in our mind. Number one, I know El Chupacabra was in your head. From Planes, I just a love machine. I know El Chupacabra was in your head. Okay, that's number one. Number two, What's up with the moaning and groaning and purring and stuff at the end of the song? I don't know if I ever heard that before. But of course, you you know you normally don't hear the longer version of Love Machine. What's up with all that at the end? That was that was a lot to take. And number three, how is it possible that I worked at an old school station for five freaking years and I never played that song? How's that possible? I didn't put the music in. Well, I mean, I planned some music, but. I wasn't like ever the music director. I could have been, but they decided not to make me that. But that's a whole other story. How in the heck did I work five years at an old school radio station and they never played this song? That's why I'm here right now. It's the Kendall B Show on Amp. Freaking Love Machine, man. The Miracles featuring Billy Griffin. Billy Griffin! Man, Billy Griffin sounds like he could cook a mean thing of catfish. Come on down to Billy Griffin's catfish. We got five locations in Decatur, Atlanta, Augusta, <laughs> and all over the rest of Metro Atlanta. Billy Griffin's Catfish. <laughs>